Let's see what version of Perl comes with Ubuntu Desktop 9.04. To scroll back up through your terminal output one page at a time like I did you simply press shift page up and similarly shift page down. So on Ubuntu Desktop 9.04 you get Perl 5.10 by default. This is a newer version of Perl. I usually encounter 5.08. Perl dash uppercase V tells you the version of Perl you are running, the contents of the add ink search path array, and the build configuration. For this project, we will be greatly enhancing our default installation of Perl, with its already rich set of core modules, by adding many powerful modules from CPEN. One of many examples is the Perl DBI, which we will use to talk to MySQL. As you can see, the Perl DBI module is not yet installed. Perl Dashi executes the following single quoted string as if it were a Perl program contained in a single string. Multiple statements are allowed. The first thing we will do with this Ubuntu desktop machine, so that it is enabled for all types of Perl development, including code we might want to run on our Ubuntu servers, is to start installing and configuring numerous CPEN modules and their dependencies and even optional modules which do things like enhanced testing. We are going to do all installation of CPEN modules as root because there are issues with some modules and issues with the lib and prefix CPEN installation parameters. When we want a non-root Perl deployment, then we will address the CPAN lib and prefix issues for installation into non-standard locations. So now let's start building and installing the numerous CPAN modules and their prerequisites with which we want to work. First we have to configure CPAN for the first time. A .cpen directory will now be created and cpen configurations and data will be stored there. Some cpen configs also get stored within the Perl structure itself 